a very important meeting. Hey, Brian. Yo, what's up? Is it time for a very important meeting? It's been a while. It has been a while. It's been a hot minute. Dude, I gotta tell you, uh -huh. uh, being out on the road, it's pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty great. <laughs> uh, like, like getting stuff done early and then just going on vacation and being all like, I don't know, that's handled, didn't it? Yeah. Like, how soon can we replace me in this operation? That's what I wanna know. <laughs> well. I hate to break it to you, Brian. Oh, no, no, no! We replaced you years ago. Damn it. Fully animatronic. Uh-huh. What about you, man? How's everything going on your end? Oh, you know, I've been working. Go on. And, and, uh, uh, uh. Go on. Uh, I, I, I got ahead of schedule for the first time in, like, a year or two, and then... On, on which part? On everything? Yeah. What? And then, well, I mean, when I say ahead of schedule, I'm talking like a day. Uh, <laughs> but then, then this ad came around for this week. Yeah. And then I got back trouble. into the rhythm. So, uh, can, can we talk about the elephant in the room? Can we talk about the band, Too Hot for the Internet, uh, an ad that we shot? Oh, yeah. Like, are we... Are, Exclusive. Is somebody gonna leak that at some point? I, I couldn't possibly say. I mean, it seems like if somebody were to leak it, they could just like not have the sponsor on there, and then it could just be a delightful piece you of would think standalone art. That sounds like a thing that's possible. But. I mean, I'm not gonna add stipulations oh, to okay. that. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay, yeah. Just, it's possible, <laughs> full stop. It's, All right, it no, no, sounds no. like it. I mean, I mean, that sounds no like a expert. thing that could happen. All right, so serious question time. Do you want some Wendy's? Yes, no, maybe? If you're gonna twist my arm about it. I mean, I'm on the fence about it. I stuff. said, if you're gonna twist okay, my arm right. about so anyway, it. Okay, right, so anyway, either have Wendy's or you're fired. How about that? Is that what, what you wanted to hear? We already replaced you once, Brian. Yeah. <laughs> we can replace your pocketbook, too. Don't make it happen again. Uh, can we talk about the regular... Like, you and I are cut from the same cloth when it comes to food. It's like, you figure out... You get to a place where it's like, well, this is the best food. This is uh -huh. at this establishment. There's nothing better than a number six, no mayonnaise, substitute chili for a fries, Diet Coke, easy ice. It's the good thing that they make. So, yeah. And so now that you've solved that, that's all that there is. Um, John, John is not that way. He's like... John is Mr. Dollar Menu. He's like, whatever's the cheapest, even if it's rotating, okay. I would love to try out new stuff for... But, but, okay, that's part of it. But more importantly, he's like, uh, uh, well, we had Wendy's yesterday. And I'm like, and? It was pretty great, right? And he's like, well, but we did it yesterday. And I'm like, well, so what? He's like, well, I don't know. I just feel like we should go somewhere else now. And, like, that's so strange to me. Because, like, once you win the food discussion, like, it's over, right? I do that because it feels less dirty. Howdy. Hello. Hello. Hi, uh, can I get a number six, no mayonnaise? We'll substitute uh, chili for the fries. And we'll do a, uh, do you have Minute Maid Light? Why are you one else? Uh, uh, oh, real quick, is it Minute Maid Light or just regular Minute Maid? I got the Minute Maid Ah, uh, doggone it. You know what, let me get a, uh, a diet, diet Coke instead. Uh, let me get another number six. This one also with no mayonnaise. This one you can keep the fries, but we'll do a Dr. Pepper for the drink. All right, you. That'll be it. 1492. I love you. Just putting it out there. Sure. I mean, if it's awkward, then so be it. I like the full clarity of mayonnaise, mayonnaise. Ma 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 mayonnaise? Oh, do you, yeah. do you call it mayonnaise? Mayonnaise? I'm not saying you're saying it wrong. I'm just saying I, I like the well, it's, the clarity it's, of man, instructions. Yeah, I, uh, you do this enough, you learn to say exactly the right words that cause the right stuff to come out. If you know what I mean.
uh, yeah, well, I mean, you know my spiel at uh, Subway, right? Um, no. Wait, have we not had Subway together? We have, but it's been a year or two. So the trick is, I like a lot of bell peppers. Yeah. Uh, but but uh, if you just say a lot of bell peppers, you'll get three. Thank you. You get like three bell peppers, right? So the uh -huh. trick is to figure out the right phrase that causes somebody to give you just the right amount of bell peppers. And for me, it's, you know. A drink. Yeah. Diet Coke. Diet Coke. Dr. Pepper. So what I've discovered, the secret phrase is, like you do, let me get the meats or whatever, and then you're like, lettuce, tomato, and then they're like, what else? Then you gotta take a moment, you gotta go, <sighs> okay, here's the big test. Yeah, you gotta let them understand the gravity of the situation. Right, so, 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 so you, you do the sigh, you're like, <sighs> okay, here's the big test, and you say, here's the big test, to indicate that there is a failure and a winning. Mm. And then you're like, I think personally, I think you got the goods. Brant, he said he said he didn't think you had it. I think you could do this. I want so many bell peppers that you think it's a joke. Like so many bell peppers that at some point you're like, there's no way he wanted this many bell peppers. Mm. When you hit that moment, that's when you know it's right. And uh, right on. Yeah. Uh, no, I, uh, wait, do you want ketchup? Uh, no ketchup. Love you, bye. Said it again. Said it again. Just Re case reinforcement. You. I mean, I mean, is that really not, I, it seems like that's a pretty okay, I, I, I think I'd like to live in a world where everybody just said, I love you all the time to each other. Yeah. I don't, I can't think of any time I've ever resented somebody telling me that they loved me. So anyway, the trick is you gotta say uh, so many you think it's a joke, and then you maybe will get the right amount. Gotcha. But also, you very likely will not. So, boss, I, 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 oh no, sorry. Yeah, no, I'm definitely eating fries in front of somebody asking for food because he's hungry. Now everybody knows on the internet yes. that you're. That you're a monster. Well, I mean, also, the guy is smoking. He's definitely has a cigarette in his hand and is drinking a latte while he's <laughs> showing how hungry he is. Hey. That's a that's a challenging scenario. You never know, man. I mean, oh, yeah. These mean streets. I mean, I'm not saying the streets aren't mean. I'm just saying... They take them and they chew them up, spit them out. He's right he's in your got lap. a cigarette in his hand. He's smoking while telling me how hungry he is. Are you saying he's not worthy of your love? No, I'm saying that if I were do to you, hand him do a Do you sandwich, love him any less than that person at the cash register? No, I'm just, uh, you're killing me, you're killing me. By the way, this is a gorgeous shot, although it's really tight on your face. Uh, good? It's, it's like, mark? it's like right up in there. Yeah, no, 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 that's the problem with that Voigtlander lens. By the way, Bonnie has expressly forbidden me from eating on camera. Like, she's like, it's never attractive. Hmm. But I mean, it's so delicious, though. Bonnie's not here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she's still alive. <laughs> but, uh, she's not in this car. Yeah, so we just got done shooting stand-ups in this lovely rainy weather. Dude! There's a reason uh, Blade Runner took place in perpetual rainland. It's because it looks amazing. Mm. How are you liking your new uh, apartment? Uh, it's not so much new these I days. Mean, I was about to say, it's almost a year, right? It's been over a year. Oh, jeez. Um, let's see, the floods happened in January, February, March, April. Either March or May. I don't, I don't remember. Wow. Somewhere around there. I can't believe it's already been a year. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's great. It's great. I love it. Um, I was thinking about buying some stuff for my apartment. Uh, so like, I'm really interested in like music production. I'm just not very good at it. Yeah. So I want to get, I want to get a, um, a keyboard and, um, I want to get like, 
By the way, I got that uh, that Vive suite you were talking about. The what? The Vive uh, music production suite. Where oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Modules and you can make all the things. Yeah, how was that? Um, I was acutely aware of my limitations in uh -huh. music. Yeah. Which I guess you encountered on that Stranger Things ad. Oh boy, You're, did I ever. <laughs> yeah. It's like, yeah, so I'll do the editing and uh, let me buy this $40 suite and uh, I'll just make awesome music. Uh huh. That seems like something I can make in time. Yeah. I can learn this in like eight hours. <laughs> I so, can learn how to work a synthesizer. So talk me through the mental steps <laughs> as you're going through all that. Well, I. Also, it should be worth noting that I did all of that on a live stream. Which oh my god! Is so, like so your botched attempts and your realization <laughs> yeah. that this is not going to happen are all preserved for others to watch. Uh, I mean, I think I think the the archive is deleted now, but there is definitely some people there for that. And, yeah. And what did, did they have words of encouragement? They're like, that's almost music. <laughs> no, they were just they were just along for the ride. <laughs> um, but yeah, there was, I didn't even give it that many attempts. I could just like, I could hear what I was going for, sort of, and then I just knew that, you know what, let me just search APM music real quick, because there's probably a track here that I'm not going to be totally satisfied with, but I will be more satisfied with than my own attempts. Yeah. Um, I did use the synthesizer a little bit on that episode, but not nearly as much as I expected. I really liked the way the end product came out. It was pretty good. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we haven't we haven't actually put up uh, an important meeting on the new on the scam stuff channel hmm. at all. So well, this will be the this will be the first one. That's good because this is a very important meeting. What else do we have to get caught up on? It is. Um, do you do you want a beach report? I can report about the beaches. Sure. Yeah. All right. Well, what La happened Jolla, on the beach? La Jolla had um, good surf. Uh, the two times we went, Ocean Beach, moderate surf. Coronado didn't have great surf, but it had. Um, Golden beaches. Did did you see my Instagram about this? Um, may maybe. There is like I guess pyrite or mica or something. Huh. But the when you look at the water, you see little flecks of gold. Like it, it's like somebody poured uh, uh, twelve metric tons of uh, glitter all up and down the street, right? Hmm. Only it's mineral, right? And uh, okay. and as the stuff uh, as the tide comes in. It deposits just giant sheets of of pyrite, of gold pyrite, on the surface. So, as you look down, you, you see gold reflected. It looks, it's a gold coast. Huh. Yeah. So that's, that's a thing. That's kind of neat. Huh. Yeah. Also, I can report that um, uh, IMAX movie theaters still loud, actually using film. Huh. Isn't that weird? Yeah. It would seem like IMAX would be like, you know, hey man, let's go digital because, you know, what's IMAX? IMAX is what, roughly 4K? Uh, no. 8K? I want to say, I want to say it's probably something like 6K, but it's it's like weird dimensions because it's really tall. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, it's, it's square, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, why is that not all digital? Why are, why are we still, because I could hear the clickety-clackety projector and I'm like, what is this, 1980? Seven. Yeah, I don't know. The the only the only like actual IMAX uh, cameras are all film, and they're all super huge and loud and expensive. Yeah, um, I'm not a fan. I'm against it. I, I think it's probably just the, the kind of thing where IMAX is such a niche market that no manufacturer has seen like a, a market to go like, oh yeah, we'll innovate on these cameras. Yeah. So anyway, we listened. To, uh, we watched a uh, IMAX movie with uh, Jennifer Lawrence narrating. Okay. Uh, just talking about like, look at these assholes. They're in a space station. Here's an asshole from uh, Russia. This one's Italian. This guy's an American. Wow. Now let me talk for 20 minutes about the perils of global warming and how you need to make sure to recycle shit. Anyway. 
here's the space station again. Show's over. Yo, you saw a lame ass IMAX movie. <laughs> I mean, it was, uh, it was it was fine. It was fine. I pretty much only watch Christopher Nolan movies in IMAX. Uh, okay, so I expected to love seeing The Dark Knight in IMAX because some of the scenes were in IMAX, some were in 35 millimeter. Uh -huh. But unfortunately. I never once noticed when it went IMAX. All I did was notice when I was when all of a sudden it was blurry and shitty and small. And hmm. I was like, I was like, oh man, this is great. And then I'd be all like, uh, why is it suddenly blurry and shitty and small? And I was like, oh, because it's 35 millimeter. And then I'm like, oh yeah, no, this is great. And then you know, again and again. Yeah, it's a real shame that all that stuff is so prohibitively expensive. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of just why. You know, films get shot partially in IMAX and partially not. Well, and it's not just prohib prohibitively expensive. It's so noisy that they have to ADR everything, right? Yeah, in a lot of cases. Um, I saw Taxi Driver in 35 millimeter. Have you had you ever seen it before? No. Oh. And, and this this was like 2009 mm -hmm. or something like that. 2010. Um, it was a fun experience to just be like, oh wow, this this film print is all degraded as shit, and that's what film gets like. Um, but it was, it was like, like to realize you're like, this is not a digital effect uh, added on to enhance a mood. This shit's actually <laughs> degraded. Yeah, I mean, on one hand, it's really cool to see that sort of organic degradation mm -hmm. in that. Nobody will ever see a print with this exact kind of degradation the right. way I'm seeing it. Even people who watch the next showing, it's going to be a little bit different. Dude, the uh, uh, that's what it was like watching. We went to a midnight showing of um, uh, Dino De Laurentiis's uh, Flash Gordon. That was a beautiful print that was that had Norwegian subtitles and had not decayed very much. It was amazing. It was amazing. Like like seeing that campy film and being transported back to being you know seven years old, watching it on cable, and being in the movie theater. It was it was rad. Hmm. There's something magical about that. Uh, I don't know that chem that chemical process. You know, knowing that everything was touched by hand and made. You know, to look the way it is. Yeah. What do you think of uh, Rogue One? I finally watched the new trailer. I still haven't seen the trailer yet. Really? Yeah. You, you want to watch it when you get home? Sure. I'll, I'll watch it again. It uh, It's better than I thought. It's better, All certainly right. better than the first one. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to censor you out oh. as you take your bite. Oh, good. I mean, also, it's fine. I could just tell Bonnie I didn't know that you had it on. Oh, yeah. Although this admission probably wouldn't <laughs> touch... Uh, the legitimacy. This will all just be censored out. Just yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm prohibited from eating on camera and, and from dancing. dancing with men. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Jeff Gersman. Yeah. What a guy. What a guy. Hey, other... can, can, can we talk about our budding friendship with uh, the folks over at uh, Rooster Teeth? Sure. We have a budding friendship with the folks <laughs> over at Rooster Teeth. Yeah, you'd have more to say about this than I. I mean, I, I, uh, it's really, it's on us just to make dates happen. Like, the door is open and they want us to play with them. We gotta figure out just what are some things we can do for playing. Yeah. Uh, obvious crossovers, on a road uh, with uh, slow-mo guys is like a natural... Um, yeah. Yeah. Man, people were so not pleased when I put up that um that like extended cut of all of the slow motion we did for the thermite episode. Oh no! Why? Because uh, I just I just put it up as like a fun artifact of oh here's just like a bunch of basically unedited slow motion footage. Like, and then I put time codes in the description because I was like, obviously nobody's gonna sit here and actually watch all this. This is, this would be a garbage experience if you were to do that. Then um, you put this on the Scam Stuff channel? Yeah, mm. because that's what I see the Scam Stuff channel. It's just like, oh, if you got some like weird little thing, you could throw it over there. If you got outtakes, you could throw it over there, whatever. Right. Um, and a lot of people were like, 
Brian Brushwood, you would never watch this. And I was like, well, first of all, first of all, I've seen this in its unedited form like yeah. three times. Right. So I spent like three hours on this. You spent maybe 20 minutes on this. But outside of that, like, uh, I don't know. I thought it, I thought it was a, a fun little bonus thing, but it got very mixed views. Well, well uh, what is mixed? 50-50? Thumbs up, thumbs down? Or what? Um... I want to say maybe like a third thumbs down. Oh, dude, that ain't done. I mean, it wasn't like a Tay Allen video. <laughs> right. But, uh... <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, wow. it... it Ruined shade. <laughs> no, I love Tay. She's great. Her videos are very poorly received a lot of times. Yes, agreed. Um, but, yeah, it was, it was definitely a, a weird thing. Uh, yeah, I wonder with I, I wonder if there's something to the packaging uh, of it, like, uh, beforehand, where it's like you can warn people, where, like, right at the upfront, where it's just like, hey, man, if you're looking for content with characters that'll make you laugh, ain't gonna happen here. Yeah, I mean, well, the first two seconds of the video is a title card that says, this is a slow motion compilation of the footage from this episode. All right. And then the title says, all of the slow motion footage from this episode, or whatever. Then um, they, have, they have no room to complain. Yeah, no I, room to complain. I think it was just like a priming thing of they're used to the outtakes, which people think that the outtakes are more produced than they actually are. They're super not. Like yeah. I, I do a little bit of trimming of outtakes that I think are but it's always like the same, not funny. The same music, and you just end it, on the same. It's the same boom. music, and it's all in the order that I take it out of the episode. So sometimes it's like super out of order. Having said all that, they're very good. Yeah, they're yeah. very, very good. There's some magic to the outtakes that that just makes them as interesting for me to watch as the actual episodes. Yeah, I think they can definitely be pretty fun most of the time. Uh, there's also a little bit of a back catalog of outtakes that I just never got around to editing. Mm -hmm. um, but it's a real pain, like once once that footage has been scrubbed from my hard drive, then it's like, okay, well, I gotta replace the footage and relink everything, and then uh, it's a whole thing. Right. Um, but I did order a new hard drive like two or three days ago. Mm -hmm. uh, so I've got a terabyte solid state coming my way. So that way I can work on Scam School and Modern Rogue simultaneously if I so chose to, which I can't do right now. Wait, so what do you do now? You do one and then you wipe the drive and. Yep. Oh, wait. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. That, that's why it's like extra bad that I have such a tight turnaround on Modern Rogues. Yeah. Because it's like I literally can't even start it until Scam School is all rendered out and published and good to go, so. Also, look at these skies. You can see a little bit of, a little bit of those clouds. I'm really tempted to get the Sony A7S. Talk to me. It's really expensive. I want to see what kind of discounts are going to go around on Black Friday. But at some point, I've got to upgrade my camera. Yeah. Because it's just not doing it. What, what's so great about the 7S? Uh, there's a film right video where they shoot with the A7S. Oh, wait. And this is the one where it looks like daytime, but at, it's in the middle night. of the night? Yeah. Oh my god. And then imagine putting like a Voigtlander on oh front of that. Oh my god! And it would probably be pretty cool. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, they're pretty expensive though. So we'll see. Speaking of which, when are we gonna go up to Dallas and do a field trip? Uh, whenever you schedule it out. Well, I'm ready and willing. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I, I have uh, four state shows in the last half of this month. But then after that, I don't think I have anything on the books for September. So maybe we could just pick a weekend and uh, sure. reach out. Yeah, that'd be fun. Dude, Connolly's kid is too cute. Oh, really? Yeah, we need to uncute that kid. It's too cute. We, we just gotta fix it. All right, well, Brian Brushwood, fire expert, can probably manage to find a way to do oh. that. Of course, knowing this kid would just be even cuter. They're like, oh, you have the most adorable third-degree burns. Oh. Ugh. 
Classic. Connolly. And Connolly. I've been enjoying, um, Josh has been posting Instagram stories from around their office. They're pretty good. Like, there was one, um, two days ago where, uh, Ryan is sitting down reading something off of his phone and, uh, Josh slowly creeps up behind him and just slaps him in the face. And then Ryan goes, again? <laughs> and that's it. It's pretty good. Again might be the funniest word in the English language. Yeah? Well, as far as like, uh, it's the MSG of comedy, where you have something that's funny. Like, uh, for example, like uh, if I were to walk up and say, uh, hey, uh, internet inspection here, I need your password so I can search the internet. And then somebody were to say, you know, well, I'm not gonna fall for that. That's medium funny. But when you say, I'm not going to fall for that again, it's a lot funnier, right? Yeah, it definitely does add a depth to a lot of jokes. Right. It, it, because it implies a history. Correct. It instantly staples on a, a backstory to anything. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. All right, well, we're almost back at your house, yeah. and this is a 25-minute episode. And if I've learned anything from the comments, it's that people hate long stuff. Wait, really? I mean, kind of. Mm. So our briefing's long, but maybe they just hate myself, Bryce, and John. Wait, so, uh, all right, we'll talk about this in a future very important meeting. All right. But until then. But I figure it's got your face on it, so people are going to love it. Mm. Yeah. They're going to love it. Yeah, about that. It's got you eating on camera. Oh, a, damn it. An damn exclusive. It. It's a bad idea. Bad idea. I regret instantly that we're doing this. All right.